Look, this bird thing is getting out of control, but this does look pretty cool. Oh, this is old school. <laughs> All right, this is. Oh, this is Anathema. It reminds me of a, a game like old Donkey Kongs or old Prince of Persia. Maybe uh, the old Killer Instinct games with this animation style. What the hell? Don't like how I blink, it just seems really weird. Uh, so, yeah, this is Anathema. It has a story where you have to take revenge of your, your, your mother who was killed or something. I uh, usually care about stories, but I read that you know this had something to do with a revenge for a story, and I really just can't be asked with it. I'm so sick of revenge stories. It is ridiculous. Not a very creative story. Not good script writing at all. Just boring. Anyway, hang on. So, what's that? I can shoot. Animation is a bit weird. I'm supposed to shoot these yellow orbs. What's that? Oh. Uh, I, I did a thing! So Anathema is a platformer, like Prince of Persia. Uh, Castlevania seems to have a lot of similarities with it, not just because it has a whip. The music, the theme, and everything. Ooh. Even the art style kind of looks similar. I've never played a- ooh, I've never played a Castlevania game. Ooh. Everything seems to hurt you in this. And everything is very loud. How do I- Okay, this might take me a while. Hang on. There's no tutorial in this game. Not yet. There we go. Okay, I'm free. <laughs> okay, yeah. This game is pretty old. It's an old uh, kind of platformer action game. Not so much uh, a Metroidvania. Or just a, a roguelike game. I'm sure there's rogue elements in this game. They're in like almost every game. You know, and I'm kind of tired of it. Where every game has to be some kind of new, crazy, creative thing. This is only really creative with its art style, with its whole motion graphics and kind of fluid movement or unique movement, I should say. Because it seems to be at a weird animation set. It's not fluid like Prince of Persia, but it has that same kind of uh, the look with it. Which I think is a good thing. It definitely makes it stand out. I did an awesome move before. Now I, I kind of forgot how to do it. Hang on, wait, give me, wait, okay. This actually reminds me of an old game from 2013 called Volga the Viking. And this whole subgenre seems to have been getting formed lately where 10 to 20 years ago people would play games like Sonic, Mario, just all these old 2D colourful kind of games where it's not really adult themed. And I'm not saying that this is adult themed, it seems kind of fine. But back then, Castlevania looked very different. These days Castlevania looks far darker. The stuff with the zombies and crypts, dead people hanging off the sides. This game kind of steps that up a notch with its graphical style. It's trying to be photorealistic if you freeze the game. But that's only with the characters. I mean, not exactly photorealistic, but it has its kind of own uh, art style which is separated from the art of the level. So think of the classic Donkey Kong games. This whole subgenre I was talking about is trying to make these games harder for a more mature audience than people who were brought up with those 2D side-scroller games. And I've actually asked a few people to look at these screenshots. I asked them, how difficult do you think this game is? Easy, medium, or hard? It's not, I know it's not much of a sample size, but 3 out of 3, they all said hard. It's just its art style and graphical style, it seems to be, uh, seems to scare people away because of its its darkness, moodiness, uh, I don't know, uh, just because of the history of these games, such as Prince of Persia, that game I mentioned, Volgar the Viking, and stuff like that, it, you're not playing as a hedgehog or a plumber in this, you're playing as a, a character with a knife on, on the end of a whip. Or whatever it is. And this game isn't really that hard. I find it quite repetitive honestly but this is a demo. I didn't really get to go through any decent tutorial mode of this game. So it's quite repetitive. I think I'm probably missing out on some major tricks. But I'm spamming buttons every now and then and stuff is happening. So that's cool. And the controls are quite responsive. I can easily dodge an attack. Which is probably the most important thing for a game this early. And I don't really want to complain too much about a game which is already on Steam and has a playable demo on it. Have you seen how many games on Steam have demos on them? 
not enough. But I just wanted to talk about that whole uh, perspective that this game, it, it, it looks hard and it looks like it's for mature people. A mature audience, uh, an experienced audience with these types of games. And I'm trying not to be self-centered here, but just me and these three other people, we, we say it's hard based off the screenshots, based off the way it looks. That's why I chose this game, because I wanted to, to kind of explore that and see if it was hard. It's not that hard though. I'm sure most people watching this video have just left in the first minute because this game kind of looks uh, boring and repetitive. It has a cool art style I suppose, but apart from that it's a 2D side scroll. it's not really that creative. So how do you stand apart from all those other 2D indie roguelike games uh, in this industry? I don't know. I don't know. Post in the comments if you know, because I'm really curious. I don't think it's Metroidvania and roguelike anymore. Not like it used to be. What's the next level after that? Responsiveness of controls or the gameplay? I don't know. Oh! That's violent. Actually, that's, that's what this reminds me of. It reminds me of the old Mortal Kombat games. I've played a bunch of those. I'm not really into fighting games though, but... I played that for some reason. Maybe because it did look a bit more realistic. So I was interested in that since I was young. Maybe, uh... Don't know what I was interested in, either because Mortal Kombat looked kind of realistic, it was probably the blood and crap, or uh, just because I wasn't playing as a, what looked like a cartoon character or uh, blocky characters at the time. I've always wanted to immerse myself into a game, kind of like, these people are real and I need to fight for them, I need to kill the other person, not I need to beat the other player who was playing that game. I've never really thought about that. So it might be that side of things, I don't want to put other players through a, a bit of pain, uh, some grief. I don't know, but I just wanted to talk about this type of a game genre and art style and the stereotype that this type of game is a hard game just because of the way it looks and the genre it's in. This is only the demo version of the game. I'm sure it could get a lot harder. Or it could be, you know, easy as hell. But I'm doing fine here. I'm at a boss fight at the moment. You could say that part of the charm with the but the game trying to be old school is that it gets repetitive. Well, I think this is very old school then. Whoops. Oh my gosh, look at that health bar down the bottom. <laughs> That's old school. Oh my gosh, that was bad. Alright, it seems I can hit him right on the edge. Got him. Oh god, there's two. Okay. Oh! Damn. What? Okay. The fire at the end seems to get me. There we go. <laughs> Looks like they're doing the whole Michael Jackson hat tip. Uh, what? The hell? What's this Marlock the Unbrindled? I don't know what that thing is, but I don't know if I should. Well, what it, it does nothing if I stand in it.
Oh, are you serious? Ah! It's always weird when old games have fire in them. Ow. Oh no! <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hard. Anyway, download link is in the description below if you want to try the demo for this game. It is on Steam. It's not out yet, it will be out soon, they say. Hope you liked the video. I was trying to edit this in a way that uh, the commentary flow, but also trying to show the first level of this game at least. And of course the boss fight, which is probably like the best thing about these types of games. Hope you like it and I would like to hear your opinions on this whole genre and how if a game looks hard, it needs to be hard or it, it has that stereotype with it. That it sometimes scares you away from a game. And do you find yourself leaning towards these type of games as well? And I'll see you next time.